all new at 11. A woman in Southport says she was shocked when she noticed this sign in a neighboring yard. It's a strongly worded message calling for the area's Chin refugee population to stay away. RTV6's Chance Welser joins us live in Southport tonight with more from neighbors and the Chin community. Chance? Some of the first Chin refugees from Burma to settle in Indiana settled right here in Southport. Since then, thousands of others have joined them. But this week, some in the Chin community are feeling the opposite of Hoosier hospitality. For sale on a Southport cul-de-sac, a vacant house. In the yard, a sign, bold and blunt. It reads, no more Chin. Next door neighbor Laura Wilkes noticed it Monday. It just is incredible that in 2016 that there are still people out there that have so much hate in them for a group of people. The posting of the sign soon turned into the battle of the sign. Laura made some corrections with her version reading, no more hate and love your neighbor as yourself. Then this morning she noticed it had all been changed back. I was just so angry and disappointed and sad and I almost, I just couldn't think straight. But who would do it? Since the sign showed up, the Fair Housing Center of Central Indiana has gotten involved. That's simply not something that we are going to tolerate occurring. They contacted the realtor who said they didn't know about the sign. When local chin leaders found out, they say at first they were offended, but they do not believe this sentiment of intolerance is widespread. I think this is individual uh, or a small group of people. Uh, it's definitely not the city of Southport. In our checking with the Fair Housing Center, they said if the landlord or realtor were to post a sign like this, it could be a violation of fair housing laws, but that doesn't appear to be the case here. So if that is simply an upset uh, neighbor, the homeowner could take action and file a complaint for vandalism or trespassing, perhaps. Live in Southport tonight, Chance Walser, RTV6.